medicinal cannabis. In this country, um, to I think many activists uh, in medicinal cannabis, the that President Obama has been a disappointment. Now I think that he probably made a calculation that um, he would be able to get nothing else done if he put this at the beginning of his to-do list. And it may be that the fact that the DEA is looking at rescheduling cannabis sometime this summer, that may be the work of Obama and it may be that he is doing what some people thought he might do, which is towards the end of his term, uh, weigh in on this. Uh, to Obama's credit, he did put in his autobiography that he used cannabis. I think he couldn't help but be that candid because I had a classmate of his from Occidental, which is where he uh, went before uh, Harvard, that he was one of the number one marijuana smokers in, at Occidental. <laughs> now, on the other hand, Occidental is a pretty conservative place, so that might not mean much. Uh, and I also have some patients from Hawaii who say that uh, Barry, which is what he was named as then, and his cousin were some of the were some of the biggest marijuana dealers in high school. Again, I don't know how much marijuana people smoke in high school in Hawaii 30 years ago. Um, so, and Obama had given signals during his presidential campaign that he would address cannabis differently than his predecessors. And he has. Unfortunately, the federal government was so far uh, off base that even the improvements that Obama made were not um, dramatic enough, and hopefully he will make some uh, dramatic changes before he leaves office.